What's up, super fans? It is Fitnerd from Superheroes Ultimate. I'm here with John Root from Dark Horse Comics, and That's he's right. about to unveil the beautiful Keanu Reeves, because of course he's a beautiful human being, and he's breathtaking. A, he's like the perfect example of all of us, and he's everywhere right now. that one little minor detail which is kind of cool from the product development standpoint is the bases uh, you can see that the base on the Johnny Silverhand and the, the sculpted Jackie figure to the right are a little bit different. Jackie is such a big boy and he's so amazing that we actually had to increase the size of the bases so knowing that we also did a couple updates that we took out the samurai text on the bottom and kind of increase the size of the samurai emblem so all of the future figures are going to match that same size so it kind of has a consistency between all of the lines so the cool thing is that we have five figures coming out obviously johnny silverhand and the male v figure are going to be coming out first uh, just prior to the game release uh, all of the figures are going to be 49.99 uh, we're also working on a female V figure. Unfortunately, the approvals did not quite make it, so we wouldn't, so we didn't get a sculpt for her. But we're trying to also have that the female V is going to be coming out prior to the game launch, along with Johnny Silverhand and the male V. But besides that, we also have this amazingly detailed Jackie figure, uh, as well as a Takamura figure, which not much has been revealed on Takamura yet, but we're really excited to show him off and for you guys to see him in the video game when it releases. blessed with the ability to do both the Netflix uh, license as well as working directly with Gerard Way and Gabriel Ba to base a lot of these, like for instance, these minifigures that we're coming out with. They're based off of the uh, comic book renditions of the characters. So they look a little bit different than what you, if you haven't seen the comic and you're only aware of the characters from the Netflix show. These are how they're portrayed in the comic book. So uh, we've got Space Boy, Kraken, Seance, Number Five, Rumor and Banya or the White Violin as well. So these are how they're seen here. Uh, and then to the left of them, we have figures just as they were seen from the Netflix series. Uh, Eagle Eyes fans of the Netflix show could actually see these prop replicas uh, in the show. And these are back when the kids were in the academy and fighting crime at the time. So yeah, those guys are gonna be $29.99 individually and coming out later this year. And the minifigs, we're still working on the prices because we're waiting for uh, production costs and a production timeline. But these were also gonna be coming out later this year, hopefully around September. So over here we have our brand new products that literally just arrived into our warehouse this week. So they're gonna be shipping out to retailers and are available on Amazon next week. So if you're interested in any of these keychains, enamel pins, uh, Hazel and Cha Cha are our fan favorite, both in the comic book and in the Netflix series. So we wanted to lean into that. So we have their wacky, ridiculous serial killer faces on both a magnet and a keychain. 
And then right to our left here, uh, we have our upcoming enamel pin blind box set coming out. So again, working directly with Gabriel Ba, the artist, and Gerard Way, uh, we have that constant connection of throwing out ideas, and if they're interested, and if they like something, we're going to run with it. And they really like the idea of an enamel pin set, and really like the idea of kind of the random nature of a blind box. So. On the uh, kind of the felt pad over here, we have the approved, um, already made and output enamel pins that are ready to go. But we like the design so much that we decided to increase the available options and utilize the amazing art in the comic books to increase all the different different characters that are seen in the first volume. So this is kind of the first series based on the first volume of Umbrella Academy, and then. If people like it, we can always expand more because there are plenty of crazy characters available. So here we have the pleasure of also working with Naughty Dog, which is also one of the most highly anticipated games of 2020, along with Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, this is our first retail option for Last of Us, is with the Ellie with a Bow statue. Um, so this is going to be $49.99. It's going to be available in June this year. Uh, people may be aware of our Dark Horse Direct option, which is in a similar style as this figure, but is the $200 plus dollar poly resin version of this. We only made 500 of that and it sold out within the first 45 minutes. So I think fans are very eagerly anticipating getting their hands on this guy as well. That's going to be a lot more accessible. It would not be Dark Horse Comics if we didn't give some Hellboy love here at Toy Fair. So uh, I'm not sure if people are aware, but there is an amazing new board game out based from our buddies over at Mantic that made the Mantic board game. They have such amazing detailed figures that they use for their board games. And since we have such a great relationship with them, they let us use those same kind of sculpts of those figures to kind of blow them up and make more highly detailed and painted assortments of that. So this is our Hellboy holiday ornament. Uh, he's going to be coming out this holiday season for a mantle, you can put it on your tree, whatever you want with it, but he's ready to spread the holiday cheer with you too. We have the fortune of working with Blizzard uh, in the publishing side of things for a long time, both with the Overwatch and StarCraft comic books, but Blizzard really liked our detailed figure work with our previous figures, both with The Witcher and also with Halo. We have some pretty cool ship replicas there. So they wanted us to kind of stretch our muscles and see what we could come up with for the StarCraft license. So this is our first retail focused uh, product line. Uh, we have more to come. Uh, so you Protoss fans or Zerg fans, don't worry. We're working on those as well. Uh, on the left here, we have the metallic variant that's actually available to pre-order on Blizzard Store right now. And then on the right here, we have the retail focused variant that's gonna be available anywhere you want your hobby store, Amazon, wherever you're, that's, that's available for pre-order right now as well. Uh, Castlevania has been near and dear to my heart since I was a kid. Uh, on the SNE, or NES, Castlevania was one of my first games that I ever played. Uh, so being able to work directly with Konami on making some of these products has been fantastic. I'm uh, really excited of how those kind of stylized 8-bit pins kind of turned out for both the death. Uh, we've got Simon over there with the heart, and we got the bat. Yeah, really excited how those guys turned out. And then of course, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, one of the quintessential Castlevania games of all time. Uh, when Konami asked me to actually do all of the screenshots and to find all the assets for the game, uh, they didn't really have to twist my arm that much. Uh, with the pin sets, I really wanted to emphasize the beautiful concept art and the portraits that they had of some of the main characters with Maria, Dracula, Al Alucard, and Richter. But. The real fun is when I was able to do the magnet set and got to play with a lot of my favorite characters and iconic monsters from the game. Uh, and I really want to have fun with it too, to add a bunch of different flame bursts so people could, you know, with, with Dracula with his open cape shooting some fire out of there or having Maria being protected by Alucard, like really wanted to play around with it a little bit. Have a bunch of different Medusa's heads because they're the bane of everyone's existence. Um, yeah, but the cool thing is if these guys do well, maybe Konami will let me spread my spread my wings a little bit and play around with some other products that I want to make for them as well. But if they do well, you know, we can we'll we'll make more. <laughs> we have the pleasure of working with uh, First Four Figures uh, as their United States distributor. So we have the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 11-inch PVC statue coming out shortly, and 
writing right off of the huge success of the movie, like this is a perfect opportunity to kind of lean into your fandom and check this out. Like this is really exciting to be able to have this as an option as well. It harkens back to the Green Hills days of level one for Sonic the Hedgehog fans too. We have our My Hero Academia statue brought to you by First Four Figures as well. The coolest thing about this figure, which I love, is that there are no limit to how many All Might statues are available right now, but this one's kind of unique because this one is actually based off of the action figure that Deku carries around with him during the show, uh, and has actually a magnetic base that he's removable from. Um, unlike a lot of other First Four Figures products, this one actually has articulated arms, so he actually can move his arm sockets up and down just like the action figure in the uh, My Hero Academia manga and anime. So that's what I'm extremely excited about, and that magnetic base, from a product development standpoint, has just given me so many different ideas of what I can do with a figure. So, it's very cool. And what I love, and this is kind of a cool little trick uh, that other people can do too while you're looking around, is the best thing that I like to do whenever I see a figure based off of an anime character or a 2D reference, is I always love to see the profile shot of a figure and to see if they can really nail the profile of a character. And this figure itself is just immaculately done. We would be remiss if we didn't uh, take some time to showcase some of our currently available products over the Witcher line. Because CD Projekt Red has been so amazing to us and it's been such a pleasure to be able to work with them for the past years, making these amazing products. And every new figure that we release with them just becomes more and more detailed and more amazing. So uh, this is the newest line that just came out in December of 2019. Uh, right here we have the Geralt in the Grandmaster Feline armor set. Uh, previously we released the Grandmaster Ursine and then the default armor uh, figures. But we, we have some new things coming out. Uh, unfortunately we weren't able to get them out on the New York Toy Fair display cases quickly enough, but we do have some cool figures coming out. Uh, Triss fans will be very happy to know that we are doing a reorder of the original Triss figure and above our buddy Geralt is we have his lovely lady Yennefer as well. This is a newer figure which I'm so excited to show off. This is the, from based off of the DLC costume that you're able to choose from, from The Witcher 3. The cool thing that I really loved is I was really worried about the, the silver lining on those ribbons that are around her arm. I was worried that it would just turn out to be just silver scribbles, but you can actually see that those are runes. Like each of those individual runes are pretty easily distinguishable. And just absolutely encapsulates the beauty that is Yennefer. And then of course we have tons of other products available for The Witcher. We have the poly resin wolf head sculpture that's got a nice little mountable slot on the back so it's easy to mount on your walls. Um, watch out for the teeth though, those are extremely sharp. Learn that out the hard way, but made out of uh, molded stone, uh, has some good heft behind it, and is and beautiful in any fan's home office, gaming nook, what have you. Uh, and then continuing with our figure line, we also have Regis the Vampire, which is one of Geralt's best buddies. He's a vampire, but he's also, he's got a good heart. He's good natured. And interestingly, this is actually one of the first figures. This is the first figure that we decided to have interchangeable parts. So as a vampire, you can see him both in his human form and vampire form. We have interchangeable arms and headpieces. He's a little more expensive at $59.99, where all the other figures are $49.99 but it's worth it for any fan of the show. Like, he is absolutely gorgeous looking. And of course, it would not be Witcher if we did not talk about our girl, Siri. Here is Siri also in her DLC outfit on Witcher 3. Uh, definitely gives a more armored but breathable armor set, which makes her in a more badass, ready to fight pose. Also $49.99, available right now. other amazing products that we are making with CD Projekt Red on the Witcher line. Uh, we have puzzles, because my wife and I are puzzle people, and I was tired of doing uh, cat puzzles. I know, I'm sorry, I have to do it, but I wanted to display more things that I cared about, which of course, Witcher. And one thing that we like to think about with our puzzles is I kind of see them as interactive artwork. 
So after we're done working on a puzzle, I like to glue them, frame them, and put them on the wall. That's why whenever I'm designing puzzles or proposing puzzles, it's, it's just showcasing the beautiful artwork. On the back, you just get to see the beautiful world map of the world of Witcher. So we have the enamel pin sets available that shows the, the classic wolf head along with all the other magic signs that Geralt uses throughout the game. And then we have the shot glass set that features the other schools that are based on the Witcher 3 game and a couple pine glass sets as well. We, have, we love our Umbrella Academy and we love working with Gerard Way and Gabriel Ba, so we wanted to lean into that and show off some pint glass sets featuring Hazel and Cha Cha, some amazing new mugs uh, that are kind of bloody. Uh, got some good blood splatter in the back. Uh, again, puzzles, just gotta love to do it. Uh, we have some gift wrap papers available on the right there as well. Uh, journals, knit hats, patches. Yeah, the works, the works. Anything and everything that people want, we're happy to make. And again, all of these are available right now, either online or through your local stores. Just ask why they don't have them or ask for them and they'll make sure they, uh, they get them stocked. The new products that we have available too is, of course, the Umbrella Academy umbrella. which you can see here is made out of kind of a wood handle and make sure that we have the Umbrella Academy logo on the interior of that too. All of these guys in the cubes that we talked about are gonna be available later this year uh, at your local comic book shop, at your local hobby shop, online, at your local, at, at your online retailers, Amazon. There you have it, John Rood from Dark Horse Comics. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Dude, thank you for coming by.